Hello and welcome to Top X, where we count down the very best that YouTube has to offer. Today, we're overstepping the mark and blurring the boundaries of acceptability as we look at our picks for the top 10 most controversial YouTube channels. For this list, we're looking at those channels in which the content is so surprising, it's kinda shocking. The following clips have been branded as everything from eyebrow raising to offensive to downright sacrilegious. Only those channels that are presently active, as well as channels that are controversial because of their content, are considered. I don't like them putting chemicals in the water that turn the friggin' frogs gay! Number 10, Simple Pickup. Do you guys know what time it is right now? Motorboat time. Whoa! A channel aiming to prove that any guy can get the girl. The simple pickup methods are just too much for some viewers. The guys randomly approach girls with the basic aim to get their numbers. Um, sorry, do you have a band aid? No, I don't, I'm sorry. Uh, it's okay, I just scraped my knee falling for you. Some videos fall on the tamer side, but other efforts such as drunk time with hot girls have stirred enough controversy for online petitions against the channel. You've never gotten spanked? Well, I mean, I've, I've gotten spanked, I have. And I by your mom or by a guy? Because I've gotten spanked by my mom too, it's okay. The argument against simple pickup is clear. It's on the street harassment and outright objectifies women, which sends out all the wrong signals to its audience. Groping is never good, even if you try to make a joke out of it. The glint is in your eye. <laughs> oh I yeah? Feel it, yeah. You know, <laughs> hold this. The glint. Hold this. Hold this. Hold this. You. Yeah! Number 9, Vitaly ZDTV. Do you, you guys care if I bang? Give you a bang or? A bang? Yeah. What does that mean? Just a nice little bang. Another channel criticized for its attitude towards women. The Tally's the TV or whatever runs with a simple tagline, Russian dude with a camera and some wonderful ideas, which doesn't quite tell the whole story. Excuse me? Do you mind ladies if I give you a nice little bang or? One of his most controversial videos, How to Get Girls to Kiss You, is also one of his most popular. A three minute feature where random girls are asked three questions before they're kissed, regardless of whether they really want it to be. Well, what's your excuse not to kiss me? <laughs> My excuse not to kiss you? No. <laughs> what? Come here. I know you like, you like it. It's fairly predatory to put it lightly. Other pranks include approaching women on the street and asking if they're pregnant. It's not healthy to drink alcohol while you're pregnant, did you know that? And another is an attempt to collect girls' panties in the name of charity. We're not kidding. I'm a doctor. Okay. Alright, go ahead. Go ahead. Yes. Now I collected your panties. You can put them inside. Right. Number eight, Sargon of Akkad. Feminism is really, really, really complicated and it's really nuanced and it's really messy. Most feminists can't understand feminism. Described within his own channel trailer as an internet misogynist with views that are flat out disturbing. Internet misogynist um, with views bordering on the I was going to say, bordering on the disturbing, quite frankly, views that are flat out disturbing. Sargon of Akkad clearly doesn't shy away from saying stuff that others find offensive. He may back up his ballsy statements by outlining supportive facts and evidence, but that doesn't mean he doesn't infuriate a lot of people a lot of the time. As you can already see, the person who accused this guy of being a terrorist is clearly a complete f***ing cretin. This week in Stupid is Sargon's standout show, in which he ruthlessly dismantles recent news and media stories. People say they're confident to tell staff how they feel. Well isn't that just spectacular? training up a bunch of kids to be complete morons but quite happy to tell you how they feel about being complete morons. If there is a line to cross for topical comedy though, then this guy crosses it over and over and over again. Getting an abortion was the best thing I ever f***ing did. I am so proud of having killed the unborn child within me that I am going to take to Twitter and brag about it. Number 7. Dark Matter 2525 Surprise, motherfucker! I'm real! Stepping into the light, or should we say the dark, is an animated atheist hell-bent on highlighting everything that he thinks is wrong with Christianity. For fairly obvious reasons, that makes this channel Class A controversial. Don't be ridiculous, Jeffrey. He's not going to sin. I'll just tell him not to eat from the completely unnecessary tree of knowledge that I created. Running with the premise, nothing is sacred, question everything, Dark Matter 2525 reimagines religious teachings through an ultra-skeptical lens. What if Eve didn't eat the apple? Uh, you're not thinking about eating from this tree, are you? 
Oh, no, I would never. God said not to. Good. Don't. Everything goes to shit if you do. What if God had a God? It's logical because I say it is. This is so unfair, you swamp little douche dingo bitch. What if atheists invaded heaven? In short, this channel is basically like Sunday school on acid, and is definitely one of the most blatantly blasphemous things on YouTube. Not even for... Monopoly? Oh, for no. sake. Face palm. Monopoly. Come on, who doesn't love Monopoly? I can't deal with this shit. Number six, Mark Dice. If someone listens to the wrong kind of music, they become the wrong kind of person. A good conspiracy theory can get you masses of modern day attention, and nobody knows that better than Mark Dice, the deliverer of many exposés on celebrity culture and its links to the Illuminati in particular. Dice is all about decoding hidden and sometimes not so hidden messages in mainstream acts. Katy Perry's music video for her song Dark Horse sounds like a love letter to Lucifer and looks like a clear Illuminati induction, cementing her as one of the most popular Illuminati puppets in entertainment today. Regardless of whether you agree with his ideas, his documentary-style videos can be difficult to switch off. And if you are an A-lister, it's difficult not to get caught up in the storm. Then she is born again, like a phoenix, and out pops the reborn Beyoncé alter ego, the Luciferian Sasha Fierce. Beyoncé, Rihanna, Miley Cyrus, and most famously Jay-Z have all been controversially cross-examined. You hear Jay-Z saying, murder Jesus, 666 and murder Catholics. Number five, Freely the Banana Girl. And I'm gonna hit some more bananas later, so we'll see how many I can have. Maybe 40, 50 today, maybe 30. We'll see how we go. Freely the Banana Girl bills her channel as the healthy end of YouTube. But just because it's apparently good for you doesn't mean it can't be controversial. This outspoken fitness blocker, whose diet includes eating up to 51 bananas a day, regularly takes on her fellow YouTubers, notably and recently, beauty guru Zoella. What I can't relate to is the fact that Zoella loves Nala so much and she treats her so well, but then she'll go and eat other animals which are equally as smart, equally as beautiful, equally as special as Nala. She's also super quick to notice whenever a formerly thin celebrity puts on weight, leading some to negatively label her as a preacher or body shamer. So it's time for you to take responsibility. If you truly want to be a good role model and stop starving and stop dieting, then step up to a high-carb vegan lifestyle. We might also have included Vegan Gains here, who, like Freely, is known for making accusations about other vloggers, and even mocked a fellow YouTuber's battle with cancer. Yeesh. Now it looks like he's gonna die of cancer, and if you ask me, he's getting exactly what he deserved. And good thing for me and a few other people is, you can't make fallacious copyright claims when you're dead. Number four, the Alex Jones channel. Everywhere else is a totally wonderful place. Welcome to McDonald's, may I help you? I'm Benny Sanders, I have a 70 IQ. One of the most vocal social commentators on the internet, Alex Jones' hardline arguments continually raise more than a few eyebrows. You absolutely diabolical, deceiving scum, dumbing this country down to the level of mindless jellyfish. You're never going to get away with what you've done to humanity. His videos detail the struggle of living with what he understands to be an overly policed, overly priced, and socially constraining world, putting forward arguments that are either compellingly controversial or controversially compelling, depending on what side of the fence you're on. 10%, I remember that, 10% have got 45% of the wealth in this country. And that's wrong. And we're going to redistribute it. And that's fair. Jones believes that we're in a new renaissance, which includes especially contentious ideas on gun control, and he seems to be on a determined recruitment drive. The Attorney General said we've got to brainwash people that guns can't even be seen in the hands of citizens. So we're not brainwashing, we're reversing. We're openly saying, look, we have a right to own guns. When he speaks, a lot of people listen, but not everybody likes what they hear. But that. you like cops with guns everywhere. Yes, I Can want I the answer cops your to question? have guns. Here's the deal, yes. we're going to have the guns everywhere, and if you guys try to take them, I don't 1776. Want the Number three, the amazing atheist. I would tell the Pope to his face. I'd be like, your mom's a Punch me, ow. Quote, defying beliefs of all kind, end quote, on a daily basis, the amazing atheist leaves no stone unturned when searching for socially antagonistic things to say. A self-styled professional ranter, here's a selection of his most popular titles. I hate religion and Jesus too. Big f 
fucking deal. Do you believe in Jesus yet? God sucks. If such a God exists, then chances are every Christian watching this video is just as hellbound as any atheist. And 33 reasons not to be a feminist. There's tangible ways in which women behave differently. Maybe women are less ambitious in the workplace. If you think about it, there's a brutally provocative pattern setting in. His comment sections, unsurprisingly, are usually extremely argumentative as well. These videos are no gimmicks, but they hit right at the heart of the matter. For some people, though, they hit just a bit too hard. Prophet Muhammad, he's so sacred, he's so special, we love him so very much. If anyone even draws a picture, they gotta die! Number two, Onnisian. Today we're gonna ask the question, why do men abuse women? Because it makes no sense. Just dump the bitch and move on, don't hit her. Dubbed as YouTube's perfect villain, Greg Jackson, AKA Onnisian, has annoyed, angered, and inappropriately commented his way into being considered one of the most hated YouTubers. In 2009, he branded all meat eaters as murderers. I am giving you people a simple alternative to eating meat, and you turn me down and say, no, I like murdering, it's cool. I love the taste of flesh because I'm a piece of fucking and in 2012, he was barred from VidCom following especially inflammatory comments about rape. Essentially, no topic is off limits. Abuse, circumcision, cutting, he never ceases to cause an uproar in the comments. Maybe cutting oftentimes is a sign that you can't even think for yourself. That's why cutting's for emos and not hipsters. However, Onision is probably most famous for his sometimes blasé, often belittling, and rarely beneficial views on depression and suicide. You f ungrateful bastard. What do you do? You sit there and you go, oh, I'm cutting myself because of bullshit reason. It's probably wise to not take this guy's advice too seriously, especially if you're down on yourself. So I'm going to kill myself because nobody cares about what I have to say. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Number one, Sam Pepper. He's everything I a channel so controversial, it's been labeled criminal. Sam Pepper's brand has caused unprecedented outrage. We are looking for the best kisser on Venice Beach. Oh. So we need to. Uh... Nothing's out of bounds for the British YouTuber who specializes in on-the-spot interviews, but his extreme forwardness has led to legal issues for Pepper, with allegations of sexual harassment being put to him in 2014, following the release of his <clears throat> fake hand ass pinch prank video. Do you know where the Apple store is? Um, like, I, was, I, I don't know if it's that way or... I don't know, I'm not really from here. What the hell? I think... The did no. you just... The YouTube community itself also rallied against Pepper, with an open letter asking he stop assaulting women receiving more than 100,000 signatures. I'm uh, asking people if we can make out, so... Perhaps the least controversial thing about Pepper is that he's today's top pick. Uh, actually, do you think that I could get your number? Oh, oh you want my number now? I've got Instagram followers. Sorry, I don't do insta whores. That's it for today's list. Hopefully you haven't been too offended by its controversial content. I feel that it's entirely full of shit. As always, be sure to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Vote for upcoming lists on our Suggest page. And for more great top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. That's my last words. F*** you people.